A warning now that some of the details in our next story are upsetting. Investigators in Isle of Wight County are searching for someone they say sexually abused a dog. A shelter in Northern Virginia says the animal is now with a foster family. Tonight on your side, Erin Kelly. Talk to investigators. Erin. Homeward Trails Animal Rescue in Arlington says this is the worst case of abuse their veterinarians have ever seen. A fundraising website has raised close to $8,000 to help with the dog's medical bills. Meanwhile, deputies in Isle of Wight County are asking for your help. Earlier this month, deputies in Isle of Wight County say a good Samaritan found this dog on Tyler Drive in Windsor. She was in rough shape. The dog received some veterinary care here in the county and then ultimately was sent to the rescue in Northern Virginia. According to Lieutenant Tommy Potter, the staff at Homeward Trails Animal Rescue noticed the dog, who had been named Huggles, wasn't getting better and performed surgery. When they did that exploratory surgery, they found approximately three or three and a half inch end of a, a broom handle that was in, in the dog. This is something that is a malicious. This is not something that got there by accident or no, this is a, yeah, a malicious attempt to injure this dog. Potter says the case is made more difficult by the lack of investigative evidence or techniques used in cases involving people. No DNA, no fingerprints. He's hoping word of mouth helps catch the suspect. Somebody that did this in their own st sadistic type of way or whatever, they're going to brag about this to somebody. Somebody that, that does this type of thing is going to think this is funny, and it's not. So I'm hoping that they may have told somebody in a laughing, joking, cruel, statistic, or, or whatever manner. I'm hoping somebody knows something. That's, that's how we're going to do this. The sheriff's office wants to know who previously owned the dog, though they're not saying whoever did is responsible for the crime. And we've just learned PETA is offering a $5,000 reward in connection with this case. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.